What a mess! All I wanted was just one hook! I'm Kai Plains Drifter and I can help with your tackle storage needs! Why are you in my house? Ooh, ah. walkthrough here on my terminal tackle box setup and um, I'm gonna cop right from the get-go here and just say that I took this idea from the Cal Coast uh, I believe it's Cal Coast who makes it called the the battle box I think um, I really like the idea of having uh, separate little um, containers for each of your terminal tackle pieces um, but the problem with that box is it's a little bit larger than a 3600 size and, and this box actually uh, this Apache 1800 is a cheap little Harbor Freight box you can get for about I think 12 bucks and uh, this box allows you to um, go ahead and, and kind of stack individual containers inside similar to the battle box but it, it fits into a width and depth uh, much more similar to the Plano 3600 style boxes which is good because that integrates with with almost all of my other tackle now this box obviously is considerably um, deeper than a standard 3600 box um, but i think you'll notice that uh, you know if you if you get this box it will stack in quite nicely uh, alongside of their 3600 size boxes uh, so i'll go ahead and open this up here um, well you know actually before i do that let me say a couple other things uh, one of the reasons that i chose this box specifically uh, is because number one it's waterproof and then also i really like the fact it's got this handle right here um, you know number one this is you know it's, it's a little bit of a bulky box it's kind of hard to get to sometimes with just uh, getting your hands around it um, the other thing I really like about having this handle right here, it's a great point to attach a carabiner. Uh, that allows you to keep this thing tethered. Uh, you know, you can make a little carabiner leash out of bungee. Uh, that way when you get it in your kayak, you, uh, you know, take a spill. This thing is going to be nice and secure and solidly um, contained. Uh, I have lost a terminal tackle box the one time I turned over in a boat. And uh, that is not a lot of fun. It's, it's expensive to replace. So... Uh, that having been said, let's go ahead and get into it here. Uh, the first thing you'll see is I made a little foam divider right here, and I just have this attached on the sides. I think you can see that very well or not, but there is Velcro uh, up here on the sides of this box. Let me see if I pull that out of the way. You can see I lined the inside of it with the uh, industrial strength um, uh, hook or loop side. Yes, that's the loop side right there. Uh, and uh, that allowed me to go ahead and put this divider box. I just put some uh, Velcro on the side of the divider right there. This is foam pad that I had from a, uh, uh, you know, like from some buildings, some, some deck mat type material. So uh, you can see on this side over here, I've got all my terminal tackle hooks. Uh, you know, your terminal tackle hooks are going to vary. I really like to leave the hooks in the package. Uh, the reason why is that way you don't get all of your hooks all tangled up together. Um, you know, it's really easy to lose them uh, on a kayak, having to pull out hooks and, and get them uh, straightened out. Uh, it's a good way to drop them through a scupper hole. Uh, don't ask me how I know that. Uh, but anyway, this allows you to go ahead and contain, you know, all your packages of hooks kind of on, on one side of this box over here. And I usually have them just organized. I kind of know that up here up front I've got my extra wide gaps. And then as I kind of work my way back, I'll, I'll run into, you know, my, uh, there's some like some flipping hooks. And then I'll go like into the weedless wacky, that type of thing. So it allows you to keep your hooks organized. Like I say, it's nice and neat. Uh, if you want to get some of these like little divider cards, you can for stuff that doesn't fit well. Um, the packaging for the Z-Man chin lock hooks that I use for big swim baits, uh, was too large to fit into this, this area because uh, it kind of came more like in a thicker blister pack. Um, but you can just get some like small little Ziploc bags. Uh, but anyway, you can see that I've got like drop shot hooks. I've got all kinds of crap in here that I'm probably never going to use. And then I've also got my other terminal tackle stuff on this side as well. I've got some of the little spinner blades I've shown. I've got uh, rattles right here for jigs. Um, I've got some uh, some of the little tail spinners for um, you know uh, any kind of base where I want to put some tail spinners on. Over here, bobber stops. Um, I, I like keeping these little rubber bands around. Uh, they're really good. I just take uh, pieces of rubber band and cut them into segments. And it's really good. You can kind of use them as bait keepers on a hook. It'll help keep your soft plastics from sliding around. 
Then over here on this side, um, rather than using kind of your typical uh, plastics, I just put uh, medical tape on there and uh, it's really good at holding a, uh, a marker. You can see here I've got um, all kinds of different sections uh, or things sectioned out for like kind of bulkier baits right here. Like I really like kind of sticking my Tokyo rigs in this size box. That way I can just leave. If I've already got one set up with sinkers, I can just uh, leave that in place without having to take the sinkers apart. Tokyo rigs. Um, swim bait. Uh, these are actually um, little, uh, uh, little bass casting sinkers that I have rigged up. And uh, I will, you know, add them onto my weights. Um, or I'll add them onto my swim bait heads, get a little extra depth. Uh, it's also really good for flukes. I've kind of demonstrated that in one of my shorts. Um, finesse bullets. Uh, this is for weedless net rigging. Uh, drop shot um, and uh, nail weights. Uh, in this case, I use the Z-Man nail weights or, or uh, Neko weights, depending on how you want to refer to them as. And here I've got some Carolina rigs and then football swing heads. Uh, that way I've got those kind of good to go. Um, then I've got uh, shaky heads up here, football weights. Um, those are ones that have uh, built in um, snaps on them. Uh, large bullet weights, small bullet weights, and then uh, punching weights as well. The uh, reason why I have them set up this way, and you can see like each one of these little containers uh, here, I mean, it keeps it really nice and organized. You can get to it easily. Um, you know, the one thing I like about it is that if you have a box like this that's set up, um, you know, it's just easier to keep things together. Uh, you know, even with your kind of more expensive tackle boxes out there, sometimes it is very easy uh, to, um, you know, get get a box and have it, um, you know, uh, come open on you or you tip it upside down or turn it on its side. Stuff will move around and it'll shift between compartments. It's a real pain in the ass. Uh, this keeps everything right where it needs to be everything right where it needs to be. These containers are not coming open. I've never had one bust open on me. Um, I use uh, the these tin containers. You can get them really cheaply off Amazon. I'll link that in the description um, so you can keep everything together. Uh, I really like these little small containers here. These things screw together. Um, they're not watertight, but I've never really had any problems with uh, you know water intrusion getting out of these. Um, and the other thing I really like about this box, besides kind of keeping everything together, it's waterproof. And then let me pick this up here real quick. I really am a believer of stealth out on the water. That's really, really quiet. Really quiet. So you don't have weights banging around. Um, you don't have um, a whole lot of rattling going on. I mean, this is a nice, quiet little box. It's really easy to stealth. Uh, this size is still small enough that you can slip it underneath the seat. Uh, I know I used to store this underneath the seat in my Kilroy. Um, I can also store it underneath the seat in my, my new bite. Shh, that's a secret. I haven't talked about that boat yet. Um, but uh, that is, um, you know, one of the big reasons I like this. Uh, I've got a, a Wild River um, tackle bag uh, that's set up for 3,600 Plano boxes. This will fit into the section for a 3,600 box. So it just kind of integrates basically into uh, my current fishing setups really easily. Um, this is a really tough box too, um, besides the fact that, you know, it's got these like heavy duty latches on here. I really like that it's, it's you know, it, it's not just clear, it's well gasketed. It's got this foam up on top to keep things from shifting around uh, and to help quiet it down. Uh, just a really, um, overall, just a, a really, um, you know, sturdy box. And uh, for the amount of money that I've got into this, you know, I think those containers maybe were, you know, 10 bucks a piece. Uh, so I've probably got about, with the box here, about 30 bucks, um, you know, the Velcro, which I think is maybe seven or eight. Um, and then I've got maybe 20 boxes in, or 20 bucks in containers. I put together, I think, like a really killer little terminal tackle box for a 3600 size that holds a but ton of stuff, way more than what you probably need. I mean, like, look at all these packages of hooks on this side. Um, I like how easily I can get to everything. It's organized. Uh, so I don't think I've got much money in this relative to some of the other options that are out on the market right now. Um, so I, I would highly recommend you guys um, thinking differently about your terminal tackle setup. Uh, if you're like me and you carry a lot of different terminal tackle, um, you know, I like this because I can just grab this and I know it's going to have everything I need. Uh, then I can just grab whatever a few soft plastics I may need. Um, but I, I know I'm, I'm set up and good to go with this thing. 
Uh, so think outside the box a little bit uh, in terms of maybe some of the um, you know terminal tackle options that you've seen before, and check this thing out. Um, you know, consider uh, maybe doing something similar on your own. Thanks a lot. Bye. Yes, nine one one. Some rando was in my house. I was trying to bait a few hooks, and he just comes in and is yelling at me. He looked like Billy Mays if you had ordered him off of Wish, and he's wearing a stupid cowboy hat. It's really terrifying. Mm-hmm.